Hi, my name is James Shepard. I'm an independent agent for North American Bank Card, and uh, I'm also uh, building a sales team for North American Bank Card. So I talk to a lot of new agents every day, and um, so they have a lot of questions about credit card processing. I made a series of videos. Um, they go in order uh, to explain credit card processing, how to sell it, how to make money at it. Um, this first one is an introduction. So if you're new to the industry, uh, perhaps you sold something else in the past, you're looking at getting into credit card processing sales, this is the video for you to watch. Uh, if you're not new to the industry, if you've been selling for a while and you're thinking about switching processors, um, you don't really need to watch this video. You could move on to the next one, but this is the um, uh, introduction. There's two parts to it. Uh, this is the first part, and then there's another video that's the second part of the introduction that talks about the specific fees that merchants pay. First of all, credit card processing is very simple. Um, when you go into a business and you buy something, you give them your card and they swipe it. When they swipe that card, um, they, the merchant, has to pay some fees uh, for the ability to accept credit card payments. Um, I talk more in the second part about the specific fees, but uh, let's look at it like uh, you were selling a car. If you were selling a car, uh, there would be a cost for that car, and then there's markup. The dealership says, you know, we bought it for 10000 we want to sell this car for 12900 and then they give you a certain percentage of the markup. That's how you make money as a salesperson. Everybody knows that. You mark things up, and then you get paid a percentage of the markup Credit card processing sales works exactly the same way. Um, there is a machine that's installed in each uh, business, and uh, there are ways to make money off of the machines. Um, I don't normally uh, do that as much, but we'll get into that in the uh, sales portion. But uh, let's just say the machine is free, so they have they get a machine for free in their business. Every time they swipe the, uh, a card, they're going to pay a percentage of that transaction. Say it's a hundred dollar transaction, they might have to pay the processor a dollar eighty or two dollars. For that transaction, you might make uh, the, the total markup on that transaction. There's some cost, and the markup on that transaction might be 20 cents, and you would get 10 cents of that markup. That might not sound like a lot, but if you do 150,000 transactions in a month, that will be a lot of money. Um, so uh, let's say that uh, you go into a business, you set up a machine for them. The way credit card processing works is that the merchant has to pay fees to Visa, Discover, MasterCard, American Express but they have to go through a processor, which would be you, you'd be the agent for the processor, and you will take whatever those costs are from Visa, MasterCard, and Discover, you're gonna pass those through to the merchant with a markup. Um, the markup is the profit. You're gonna split the profit with the processor, North American Bank Card, they split the profit with the agents 50% to 50%. So uh, most of my clients, um, I, I price very low, and I'll explain that in my pricing strategy in another video, but um, I make an average of $26 in profit per merchant. So what that means is that on average, my merchants uh, are marked up $52. So their total bill at the end of the month might be, on average, say, is around $180 to $200 a month that they are paying to do credit card processing total. Of that $200, about $52 of it is markup or profit, and I split that 50-50, so on a monthly basis, in addition to my upfront commission, which I'm, I'll discuss in the commission video, but uh, as far as residual commission, on a monthly basis, I make $26 or 50% of the markup on each client. Now, that can vary quite a bit. Um, I have some clients that are very, very small clients. They only do a couple thousand dollars a month in revenue, uh, uh, credit card processing revenue, and on those, I only make $10, $15. I also have clients that do 100,000 or more each month in credit card processing volume. On those clients, I'm making 160 to $200 every single month off of that client, really for doing nothing. Uh, I've already done the setup. I have to be available for customer support, uh, but really I don't do much with them once they're set up. The machines work pretty well, and you, know, you don't really have to do a whole lot with it. But uh, anyway, that's residual commission that you make. So uh, that's how that part of it works. Now watch the next portion of the video, Introduction Part 2, and you'll see more about the fees and the specific fees that the merchant pays. Thanks for watching.